Welcome to The History Behind, the podcast that explores the fascinating stories behind some of the world's most innovative ideas and technologies. In today's episode, we'll be diving into the history of NFTs, a revolutionary digital asset that has taken the world by storm. If you're not familiar with NFTs, this might help get you up to speed. NFTs, or non-fungible tokens, are unique digital assets that are stored on a blockchain, a decentralized digital ledger. Unlike cryptocurrencies, which are interchangeable and have the same value, each NFT is one of a kind and cannot be replicated. In recent years, NFTs have gained significant popularity with high profile sales reaching millions of dollars. But NFTs are more than just a new form of digital art or collectible. They represent a fundamental shift in how we think about ownership and authenticity in the digital age. In this episode, we'll be exploring the fascinating history of NFTs, from their humble beginnings to their status as a global phenomenon. So sit back, relax, and join us on this journey through the history behind NFTs. NFTs may be the hot topic of the moment, but their origins can be traced back to the early days of the internet. In the 1990s, digital artists and creators began exploring ways to sell their work online. But the problem was that digital files could be easily duplicated, making it difficult to prove ownership or scarcity. This led to the development of various attempts to create unique digital assets, such as the creation of digital certificates of authenticity or the use of cryptographic tokens. But it wasn't until the rise of blockchain technology in the late 2000s that the concept of non-fungible tokens really took off. Blockchain technology, which allows for decentralized, secure digital transactions, provided the perfect solution for creating and verifying ownership of unique digital assets. In 2014, the first NFT project called Colored Coins was launched on the Bitcoin blockchain, allowing users to create digital tokens that represented physical assets like real estate or stocks. But it wasn't until the launch of Ethereum in 2015 that the potential for NFTs really began to be realized. Ethereum's smart contract capabilities allowed for the creation of more complex and more customizable NFTs, paving the way for the explosion of NFTs in the art and collectibles world that we see today. So while the concept of unique digital assets has been around for decades, it was the development of blockchain technology that truly unlocked the potential of NFTs. The past few years have seen an explosion of interest in NFTs, with artists, collectors, and investors alike eager to get in on the action. But what led to this sudden rise in popularity? One key factor is the growing acceptance of digital art and culture. As more of our lives move online, it makes sense that digital art and assets would become more valuable and sought after. And with the rise of social media and online marketplaces, it's easier than ever for artists to share and sell their work. Another factor is the rise of cryptocurrency and blockchain technology more generally. As people become more comfortable with the idea of digital currencies and decentralized systems, the idea of owning unique, verified digital assets becomes more appealing. But while NFTs have only recently gained mainstream attention, there have been some early NFT projects that paved the way for current popularity. One such project is CryptoKitties, which launched in 2017 and allowed users to buy, sell, and breed virtual cats on the Ethereum blockchain. The project was a huge success, with some cats selling for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Another early NFT project was the blockchain-based game Decentraland, which allowed users to buy and sell virtual land and build on it using non-fungible tokens. And in the art world, the first major NFT sale was made in 2018 when the artist Kevin Abosh sold a digital artwork for 10 Ether, worth around $12,000 at the time. These early projects helped build excitement around the potential of NFTs, paving the way for the explosion of NFTs that we see today. NFTs have caused quite a stir in the art world, with some hailing them as a revolutionary new way for artists to monetize their work, while others criticize them as a fad or speculative bubble. So what impact have NFTs really had on the art world? One major impact has been the ability for artists to monetize their digital work in a way that was previously difficult or impossible. Before NFTs, digital art was often seen as less valuable than physical art because it could be easily copied and distributed. But with NFTs, artists can create one-of-a-kind digital assets that are verified on the blockchain, making them more valuable and collectible. 
This has led to some high-profile NFT art sales, such as the sale of Beeple's Every Day's The First 5,000 Days, for a staggering $69 million at Christie's Auction House in March 2021. The sale was a watershed moment for NFTs and helped to cement their place in the art world. Other notable NFT art sales include the sale of digital artwork by the musician Grimes for almost $390,000 and the sale of an NFT by the artist Pac for over $16 million. But while some artists have found great success with NFTs, others worry that the hype around NFTs could be harmful to the art world in the long run. Critics argue that the focus on high-priced NFT sales could overshadow other important aspects of the art world such as diversity and accessibility. So while the impact of NFTs in the art world is still being debated, there is no denying that they have caused a stir and open new possibility for artists and collectors alike. While NFTs have made a big impact on the art world, they're not just limited to that industry. In fact, NFTs are being used in a variety of other industries, including music, gaming, and sports. In the music industry, NFTs are being used to create unique digital experiences for fans, such as special edition music releases or backstage passes. For example, the DJ Blau recently sold an NFT album for $11.6 million, which included exclusive tracks and other digital extras. Gaming is another industry that's been quick to adopt NFTs, with some games using them to create unique in-game items that can be bought and sold on the blockchain. One notable example is the game Axie Infinity, which has seen massive growth in popularity and value thanks to its use of NFTs. And in the sports world, NFTs are being used to create collectibles and memorabilia. For example, the NBA has launched an NFT platform that allows fans to collect and trade digital highlights from their favorite players. Other notable NFT projects include the previously mentioned virtual real estate platform Decentraland, which allows users to buy and sell virtual land using NFTs, and the racing game F1 Delta Time, which uses NFTs to create unique, verifiable in-game items. While NFTs are considered a relatively new technology, their potential uses in other industries is still exciting to consider. By creating unique, verified digital assets, NFTs are opening up new possibilities for creators, collectors, and fans alike. While NFTs have been hailed as a revolutionary new way for creators to monetize their work, they have also faced a fair amount of criticism and concern. One major criticism of NFT is their environmental impact. Because of the process of creating and verifying NFTs requires a significant amount of computing power, they have been criticized for contributing to the already substantial carbon footprint of the blockchain industry. Some estimates suggest that a single NFT can have the same carbon footprint as a month's worth of electricity for an average American household. Another concern is the potential for fraud and scams in the NFT market. Because NFTs are a relatively new technology, they are largely still unregulated, making them a prime target for scammers and fraudsters. In fact, there have already been several high-profile cases of NFT projects that have turned out to be scams, such as the Save the Ocean NFT project. The Save the Ocean NFT project was a high-profile scam in the NFT market that promised to donate a portion of its proceeds to ocean conservation efforts. The project was launched in May 2021 by a group of anonymous creators who claimed to be artists and environmental activists. The project consisted of a collection of 10,000 unique digital art pieces, each represented by an NFT, that were sold on the popular NFT marketplace OpenSea. The art pieces were designed to represent different ocean creatures and environments, with names such as Great White Shark, Tropical Coral, and Deep Sea Diver. The project gained a lot of attention in the NFT community, with many people excited to participate in a project that claimed to support ocean conservation. However, as the project progressed, concerns began to arise about the legitimacy of the creators and the donation process. In early 2021, it was discovered that the Save the Ocean project was a scam, and that the creators had no intention of donating any proceeds to ocean conservation efforts. Instead, they had pocketed the funds raised from the sale of the NFTs, which amounted to over $2 million. Save the Ocean NFT project was a stark reminder of the potential risks and pitfalls of investing in the still largely unregulated world of NFTs. 
It also highlights the importance of doing thorough research and due diligence before investing in any NFT project and being aware of the potential for fraud and scams in the market. In addition to these concerns, there is also a question about the long-term value of NFTs and their impact on the art world. Some critics argue that the hype around NFTs could be harmful to the art world in the long run by prioritizing high-priced sales over other important aspects of the industry, such as diversity and accessibility. Despite these concerns, NFTs continue to gain in popularity and new projects and uses are being developed all the time. As with any new technology, it's important to approach NFTs with a critical eye and to be aware of the potential risks and drawbacks, as well as the potential benefits. While NFTs have already made a significant impact in the world of art, music, gaming, and sports, the future of NFTs is largely unknown. However, many experts believe that NFTs will continue to grow in popularity and find new use cases in the years to come. One potential new use case for NFTs is in the world of virtual real estate. As more and more people spend time in virtual worlds such as Decentraland and The Sandbox, the demand for virtual land and property is growing. NFTs could be used to represent ownership of virtual property, allowing users to buy, sell, and trade virtual real estate just like they would with physical property. Another potential use case for NFTs is in the world of identity verification. Because NFTs can represent unique, one-of-a-kind digital assets, they could be used to verify someone's identity online. This could particularly be useful in situations where traditional forms of identification, such as passports and driver's license, may not be available or practical. In addition to these use cases, NFTs could also be used to represent ownership of other types of assets, such as intellectual property or even physical assets that are tracked on a blockchain. This could revolutionize the way we think about ownership and ownership rights, allowing for more secure, transparent, and decentralized systems of ownership. Of course, the future of NFTs is still uncertain. It is impossible to predict exactly how they will be used in the years to come. Today, we've explored the fascinating history behind NFTs, from the early attempts to create a unique digital assets to the explosion in popularity we've seen in recent years. We've looked at some of the key projects and players that have shaped the world of NFTs, and we've discussed some of the criticisms and concerns that have been raised about this emerging technology. But despite these concerns, it's clear that NFTs have already made a significant impact on the worlds of art, music, gaming, and sports, and they are likely to continue to do so in unique and innovative ways in the years to come. From virtual real estate to identity verification to decentralized ownership systems, the potential for uses for NFT are vast and varied. Thank you for joining us on The History Behind, where we explore the fascinating stories and events that shaped our world. We hope you enjoyed delving into the past with us and learning something new each week. If you want to stay up to date with our latest videos and historical deep dives, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. And don't forget to leave us a comment with your thoughts and suggestions. We love hearing from our viewers. Until the next time, keep exploring the history behind the world we know today.